Hello, welcome back. Last time I was minding my own business, doing a room, when a uh, secret revealed itself to me, and uh, I went there and ate way too many mushrooms, captured an ape, and then the ape escaped. So, that's what happened. <laughs> so I'm here, still in this room. Uh, will I be able to do dream hypers today, do you suppose? So I can ignore this path now, I think. I'm going to assume I saw what there was to see down there. Maybe it was like some super expert secret, um... <laughs> I'm an expert. <laughs> More expert than me, secret, for going in there, getting the artifact, coming back here, and taking it all the way to the end of the level or something? Or maybe what I saw was all there would ever be to see there. Anyway, so I got as far as doing a reverse stream hyper into that mushroom rectangle. I died on those spikes and didn't make it as far as doing the uh, reverse wave dash on that thing. So that's gonna be reverse mushroom wave dash, and I need to dream hyper good? Because, like, just a regular one did not get me all the way across those spikes, which is a bit worrying. Anyway, reverse mushroom hyper, dash upright, which will stop my forward motion and let me drop comfortably somewhere around there. So I'm just gonna assume that lines up nicely. I guess it's the same thing I'm doing up top, more or less. That sign is nice. Without that upright arrow, I might have had more trouble parsing this. Wait a second, that's a... Uh... No, 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 that makes sense. Uh, right, okay, so anyway, I do that on the bottom. I reverse mushroom hyper bunny hop. Alright, reverse mushroom hyper bunny hop gets me somewhere around there where I have to line up a wall bounce after that. Okay. Crouch dash into that little space up above if you wanna. I don't. Although I won't have a dash so I can't. Just have to go to the right, grab that wall, climb up, and then done. Okay. Yeah, so I've parsed the room before. Let's see if I can do... Right, okay, so remember. I've actually written some notes to myself about how to make dream hypers work. And hopefully they'll uh, serve me well. Later than you think, but also inputs are closer together than you think. Okay, that's too late, actually. And I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, no. Uh, still just failing for who knows what reason. But I'll, I'll calibrate, and then it'll start working, and everything will be cool. Okay, what's happening? There. That's the timing. So do that, and then... Hang on, that's a jump, but not a Dream Hyper. So it's not two Dream Hypers in a row, just the first one. Then you jump and Ultra. Uh, but the jump needs to be, like, very... gentle. Okay, and then... But I do need a lot of speed there to get... Right, it's gonna be an upright dash after that. I won't really see it coming, I just have to be ready for it. Then I'm doing another reverse there somehow. Good luck with that. And I need to not go so far right. Good luck with that, too. But now that I'm focusing on this and not secret stuff, I'm like actually kind of getting somewhere. Here we go. Uh, I didn't manage to dash, dash the right direction there, but everything else about that was right. Okay. Got these jamming tunes keeping me company. I might like this music even more than Orb Power. It's hard to hard to compare. They're different. Both are very, very good. Okay, I think I didn't actually I'm not sure what I didn't do there. It comes so fast, I just have to make an input at some point and hope it's the right time. That was not the right time, apparently. Okay, a little earlier maybe? I go so far right there, and that's concerning because I need to veer back left somehow. I'm not getting my dream hyper like ever. Am I too early? Let's try later. It's just hard to judge when anything is, just because I'm moving horizontally so fast. Yeah, that was pretty bad. 
Oops. Okay. Like, I hit that reverse once or twice. It's just hard to do. <sighs> like, my dash is just never even going off. I'm just... Okay, I think I'm doing it too early. Yes, okay, so at least I got the dash to happen. Can I just... Hang on, if I don't jump at all... Yeah, I can just dash up right into that. And maybe that'll help me calibrate my timing. Yeah, okay. That's a little easier. Hmm, is it? I'm used to jumping. Just something about the rhythm works better for me, that way. So that was way too late. I just wish I could parse, like, which way I'm going wrong there most of these times. It's just really hard to... Do you suppose... I'm gonna try something different. If I just do a leftward dream jump there, what happens? I just die in spikes, okay. So dash does need to be involved because I need a much more aggressive turnaround than that. Okay, so I'm changing something. I'm jumping later off this platform. That positions me better for the rest of this. Uh, that was not a late jump, that was early. Okay. Things are happening, it might not look like it, but they are. Inside my head. Gears are shifting around. Oops, what? At least theoretically after this part of the room that I'm stuck on now, the rest is a lot more straightforward, like simpler moves. That's the last Dream Hyper I have to do in the room, at the very least. I wish this could ever go off. Like, why is it just never going off? I'm getting the first one just fine. It's just the second one never happens. Let's try earlier. Am I being too late? Am I doing my inputs in the wrong order? I'm just getting nothing. I'm holding down left. That's the direction I want to hold, right? I think so. But nothing's happening. I'm just... I'd careen into the spikes every time. Except for the one time I managed to do it and I don't know what I did. Nothing. Never. Let's try separating inputs more. See, separating inputs too much was an issue at the start, so maybe I should try less? Yep, that's great. Is it just that I'm always going too early? Let's go extremely late. Hey, there we go. Okay. Uh, that wasn't even extremely late, that was a tiny bit late. But okay, so... Um, instead of thinking of separating my jump and dash inputs, what I need to think about in my head is just, like, forget that upright dash that I just did, that is a separate operation that's already concluded. Has nothing to do with the upcoming one. I start a new operation, which is a leftward hyperdash, as soon as I get out of the dream block. Thinking about it that way... Yes, I'm closer to making it work. My angle of entry kinda matters, though. 
Does anybody actually go for silver strawberries in, like, levels like this? If it's so, how? I cannot imagine. For every one of these deaths, start over back at the beginning and do the earlier rooms. You'll never even get to this point. Okay, so again, separate operations, do it a little later, and uh, hope for a lucky angle of entry. See, I can try to go earlier, but that's what happens when I do. Oops. That was just way too early. Can I do it by sound? Like a certain length of time after I hear the mushroom. Longer than that. Just, my, my angle is throwing me off. I wish I could have a shallower angle. Uh, sorry, a steeper angle. Just not be moving right so fast. Because right, I need to watch my up-down movement, and with so much right word, it's harder. Okay, that's what it looks like when I separate my inputs too much. I don't know why it looked like that over on that side. I think I'm just pressing everything too early. Yes, okay. Right? Like, just have that picture in your mind of what success looks like. Okay, yep, see, and I, I can tell how I deviated from the picture. I was too early. Okay, that was not too early that time. The inputs were too separated. Like, if I get a dash, it means I press dash on time, but jump late. Whoops. Whoa. That, since I just careened into the spikes, it means I press dash too early. Okay. Just internalize that. There we go. Perfect. Um, a little later on the wave dash. A little later on the jump off the red block. Uh, separating too much. Oh. See, what's weird is I'm doing the reverse of the Dream Hyper input immediately after. Like I do dash jump, jump dash. Dash, ju dash, dash jump. It's, it's like almost set up that way probably intentionally to confuse my fingers. Uh, I must have still been too early, even though it didn't feel like I was that time, but it must have been. That's what my eyes are telling me. Yes, my eyes are correct. Okay, so now I have to learn that timing. Yeah. Uh-huh, great. Okay, so some learning on that dream block has definitely happened. I figured out when the timing is, or at least closer to it. Yep. Sometimes I just get a bad ultra and- ah, dang it! Whoa, what? That was very confusing. Oh, too early. Okay. Okay. That needs to be a... Okay, I... The block broke early, it looked like. Maybe it didn't, but that's what it felt like to me. Oops. Done! Okay, see? Like, as soon as I got that part, everything was good. I'm gonna lock this in and investigate a couple of things here, like this. Oh, I can totally go there. Oops. Uh, 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 uh. Nothing here. Nothing here, but I can sit. 
And one more thing. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna pull that off, right? Hmm. I think it's pretty unlikely. Just thinking about what I know. Could I make this happen somehow? Mm, no, there's no way I could do a crouch dash in there. Okay. Anyway, cool. So, new room. Hi, is this another cab log number two? This is number six. All right, so I found two, two, and six. Okay, very funny. So you're saying, don't dream hyper in this room. Got it. Mm -hmm. And then you'll say some weird corrupted message if I talk to you again. Yes, I, I understand. <laughs> dream hypers do not conserve speed. Okay, now there's some actual information. Really? They just reset it. Interesting. Yes. <laughs> and now you don't talk to me anymore. All right. Also, this is concerning. What's that? I guess it's a rock with some glitchy bits in it or something. Uh, that's a one way downward. Okay, what am I looking at? Okay, dream hypers do not conserve speed. So you say and do a dream jump there. Okay, whoa. All right, first of all, where am I going? I think I'm looping back around to the start. There's the switch touch for that. Also, are there any other exits to the room? Kinda gotta look real close for those sometimes, as it turns out. Like, any suspicious walls I can touch. All of the, uh, all the geometry is very busy around here, so that makes them just that much harder to spot. Yeah, I'm just kinda like taking in the shape of the room more than any of the activities in it. This is initial scan. Going way down here, am I coming back after this? Or is there an exit to the right? There is an exit straight down from me. Maybe that's where Strawberry's stuff is. Okay, so long way over. Yeah, so that's clearly progress. And this is presumably Strawberry. So I need to interrupt, like, let's not even think about going that way yet. I need to go the other way. All right, I think I see roughly what I would need to do for that. Oh boy. Okay. Whoa, that's a lot of speed. Good grief. Okay. So not quite that. I do need a hyper there, I think. All right, okay, so another dash. I could do a dream jump. I don't think I want to for this situation, but later I probably will. Uh, does that really need to be a dream hyper on output of that? No, then I'll be dashless. I need a dash. So if dream jumps... Oh, I need left, not down left. Okay, so left on re-entry. Mm, but I need an angle compatible with doing that. Ooh. Uh, maybe I have one and I just need to be quicker. Okay, that's pretty much what I want to do. Hey, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, I don't even need to wall bounce there. I can just climb. This should be pretty simple. Just gotta get a good angle. I kind of want to be, like, deep in here before I start this dash. Honestly, it kind of doesn't even matter, like... Yeah, I can do that. That works fine. Okay, here we go. Alright, and it's a little spiky in there. I might want a wall bounce. But yeah, I think I like this angle of entry. It's nice and slow. Yeah, yeah, oops. Eh, forget nice and slow. Let's do it fast. Mm 
Hmm, fast's not working. Could I? Here's an idea. No, there are spikes there. I can't dream grab. So I have to... Yeah, like that, but better. Mm -hmm. Dang it. Yeah, so figuring out where exactly is the place to updash there. It's not free. Yeah. Okay. And then... There we go. There we go. Okay. Anything in a little interstitial area here? Not really. Just a little comf spot. Those are all over the place. Okay, so... First actual strawberry room? First of all, confirm there is a straw here. I'm sniffing. I don't smell any yet. That's because it's very far away. Okay, I found it. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a funny decision here. Let me just parse the room real quick. I don't think I'm doing this today. I think just getting into this room is all it's gonna be, right? Has some sort of dream ultra or something? Chain dream ultra? Is that what I'm seeing? This might not be so bad, this might be a complete nightmare. Yeah, this is another speed gain room. It's not Mushrooms on Water, but it's that's the, It's a similar format. Like, I need a lot of speed. Uh, I'll try it a couple of times, so... But I'm not, not committing at all to having this... Oh, I'm already Shrewman. Got it. Okay, so I need to start... It's roughly like that? Is it all up, uh, down, right, right? Okay, I probably want... How do I want to do this? And ultra? Up, down, up. Okay, so how many downs is it? Okay, something like that? Hold on. Or are these... Maybe these are Dream Alters, but they don't... Those don't conserve speed, though. So I'm just doing Dream Jumps. Okay, so hang on. One, two, three, four... Okay, so right, in terms of dashes. Starting with the, the one that initiates an Ultra. Which isn't even what I want, is it? Would I rather just do this? Well, no. No, it's a mushroom initiated ultra, so that's all the speed that I get, maybe. I don't think I'll have enough, but anyway, so... How will I count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... I didn't jump. And then nothing happened. Yeah, so there's some way I need to conserve speed here. There are no mushrooms around, though. So, like, this is just purely with the dream blocks. So it was six. Yeah, so I listened for the dream block sound. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Up, down, up, 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 forward. Uh oh. Uh, okay. But, like, I'm not gaining speed during this process at all. I think it wants me to, somehow. Like, you want a lot of speed to cross that gap. Let's try and at least just, like, input a dash off of that last one. Oh, that's... no, nope, that's not how I start, I think. Oh, hold on. Um... Oh boy. Oh, what am I doing? This is very confusing. So I'm jumping first and then dashing for this attempt. 
Am I gaining speed? Maybe I am. Okay, so that's four ups. Down to- okay, so count six downs, alternate, then four ups, then forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, up, d- uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, up, down, up, uh, up, down, four ups. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, no. It's five and then up. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. No, six then up. I miscounted. One, four, five, six. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's not how I count. What? One, two, three, four, five, six. Up, down. Great, I'm alive. And I don't. Okay, there. We go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up, down. This is confusing. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up, down. Then I just lose it at some point. Oh boy, this is the day of just quietly counting things to myself. Uh, there's ground to stand on there somewhere. Doesn't help me. Where even is that? Is it because there are spikes but they're off screen? Because that's a thing, right? Yeah, this spike's just all over this, except I'm somehow standing on something that's... It... Because they're so far away from the camera, they don't exist. <laughs> I always lose my speed there. So I'm doing something wrong in that spot. I don't always lose my speed there. Maybe I'm redashing too soon after my dream jump. Mm. The angle demands that I do. But maybe not in that spot? So, spend a little longer in the air. Uh, there was no dream jump there. This is very confusing. And then I just lost it because because I dashed too early or didn't have enough speed or something. That kind of almost worked, but clearly it was wrong for like what the end is going to require. Let's try an alternate. Let's try Dream Hypering out of all of these. I think I'll just go too low and uh, lose my speed if I do that, according to cab log number six, right? Um, okay, that means I need to remember how to Dream Hyper. I did it a couple of times. Honestly, like, a situation like this with chained dream hypers, maybe that's exactly what I need. However, like, I won't be able to transition to upward with that, so I think these are all supposed to be- Whoa, that's some speed. Whatever I did there was nice. But I just lose it there. I just need to gain the ability to modulate, like, how long it is between jump and dash and make it longer right there and then go back to the other pattern? That's asking a lot! Whew.
I just wonder if I would magically have enough speed at the end. Yeah, I was walking in spikes there. If I could just do the, like, if I have enough speed to get to the next dream block in each instance. Okay, so, like I said, I'm not committing to getting this done today. I've sampled it, and maybe I'll internalize whatever's going on here before next time. But yeah, I think... I think that's as much of this room as I'm going to attempt to do right now. I don't want to push too hard. I think I'll be able to get it, it's just... Okay, so, let's look at the spacing. Got my fingers measuring the distance between these two dream blocks. I'm not going to count the tiles, just going to use finger measurement. That one's about two tiles wider than the previous. That's same as previous, I think. Same as previous. About four tiles wider. Okay, got to extend my fingers a little more. Same as previous. Same as previous. One tile wider than previous. Uh, same, I think. Like, seven tiles wider than previous. Like, here I'm gonna go by, like, half screen widths. That's another half screen width. That's a little less. So my question is, what do I do at this point? Is this when I have to do a dream hyper? Like that's, okay, so I'm going straight left here, got my finger on the screen where the ground is. So it lines up with that floaty thing, like right at, like middle height, like right now. So floaty thing, that's the, the altitude that I'm aiming for. So like one tile below, two tiles below the ground below the dream block. How do you expect me to have enough speed to cover that much horizontal space? coming out of that. I feel like I need to be multiplying a lot more than I am. But maybe I have the speed and I just can't tell because I keep getting interrupted by dream block speed. Okay, well, I'll puzzle over this next time. Maybe it'll be another day like when I ate all the mushrooms in the water. <laughs> maybe not. Oh, man. I feel like there's there's a level here that I could be enjoying if I stuck to the main path more. I mean, I'm enjoying it now, it's just... It keeps getting disrupted by these weird side activities where it's very, uh, inscrutable. I don't know, I'm having a, I'm having a bumpy experience here. Nothing down there, by the way. Alright, I'll see you next time to figure out what's going on in this room.